Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Karina from Paradigm Thrifts. If this is your first video of mine that you are watching, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, and over the past couple months, I've been making videos all about one of Poshmark's newest features, which is their promoted closets feature. It's currently in beta, meaning that it's not available to all sellers yet. They are slowly releasing it to different sellers. You can sign up to be on the wait list. I will link that down below if you're interested. But in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my whole experience while going through the beta program and my experiences since the beta program has ended. During the beta program, Poshmark pays for four weeks for your closet to have promoted listings, to try it out, to see how it does, and to see if it's something that you want to continue doing for your closet. You're also able to join a Slack group, which is pretty much an app with a Discord chat so that you can contact Poshmark and other people who are part of the beta program and kind of discuss your experience and what has been going on for you. I began the beta program on May 10th of this year and I also just finished my first full week of me paying for the service myself and it's been interesting. I'm gonna share my screen with you guys so you can really see the whole back end of the Promoted Closets dashboard and so that you can understand what I'm talking about. I will say that since I started the program there have already been a bunch of improvements to the dashboard and I think that Poshmark is going to keep adding these improvements and things that we're suggesting as the sellers who are part of the program before they fully release it to everybody. So it's looking promising. They are definitely very receptive. I got a chance to speak to some of the people who are behind the Promoted Closets program um, just to kind of give them my feedback and to tell them what my experience has been to give them some, you know, advice on things that I think that they should add. And it's not for sure that they're going to do absolutely everything that I said, but they were very open to hearing what my problems have been and what my experience has been with the programs. So we love it when they take time to actually listen to their sellers. All right, so this here that you guys are seeing is my dashboard for promoted closets. It's only available on the desktop, so if you click at the top corner here, you'll see that you have my promoted closets, the beta, if you are let into the program. Um, and this is what you will see from the back end. As you can see, they are still coming up with other features that they will be adding soon. But this is my year to date data. So this is including all of the sales that I made through promoted listings while I was in the beta program, so when I wasn't paying for it, including the weeks that I was. So I'm gonna go here really quick to manage so you can see the back end of it. I paid for this week here from June 14th. I'm gonna be billed again in a couple days. So as you can see here, this is what it looks like and you can print out your invoices you can see how much you were billed you get to set your budget for every week you can go in and change it whenever you want to but my budget per week as you can see right here is fifteen dollars last week i only was billed fourteen dollars and 98 cents so you get paid per click whenever somebody searches something that matches something in your closet, Poshmark will take those items and promote them, put them at the top of the search, and if somebody clicks on that item, then you get charged. There have been a lot of discussions about whether or not that's fair or if you should only be paid if somebody actually buys that item, like how it is on eBay. But I understand why they're doing it this way. If you do any kind of advertising on, say, Google or on Instagram or on Facebook and you're actually like putting ads out there, you usually do pay per click. And that's just how ads work. Is it fair? I don't know, but I feel like that's just the the way that things are done. So I understand why they're doing it. And if your items aren't being searched, then they're not going to promote your items. People aren't going to click on them. And another thing, if people aren't clicking on your items, you're not going to be charged for it. So you can be charged up to how much you set for your budget, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to have to pay that much. So I could set my budget to $100 and that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to get $100 worth of clicks, but that is kind of 
how it works. So I'm gonna go back to the overview. So this here, I'm gonna go to year to date just so we can get an average of how much a click costs. I'm just gonna pull up my calculator really quick. So I'm going to calculate how much I would have paid per click if I was paying the whole time. So I had my budget set to $15. Poshmark actually set that budget for me and they did that according to how many active listings I have. So I don't have many, I think I, it's somewhere in the 200s of active listings currently. So they set my budget to $15. During the promoted, during the beta period, I wasn't able to go in and change that. But now that I am paying for myself, I can if I want to. I kept it at $15 just to see. But anyway, we're going to see here how much that costs. So this is lifetime. So that's going to be five weeks of me having this program out. So five times 15, which is how much my weekly budget was, was $75. So 75 divided by 315 comes out to two cents per click. A little bit less than, or a little bit more than two cents per click. I think I did my math right. Some of the people in the program were saying that there are sellers out there who are gonna try to sabotage other people who are doing promoted listings and just sit there and click on their listing so they'll get charged for it. And first of all, who has that kind of time? Why would you sit there and click on people's listings to sabotage them? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you're just literally, it's a waste of time. I don't know why anyone would do that. But anyway, that is what my average clicks came out to. If I were to have paid for everything, I would have paid $75 and I made $840 in sales from promoted listings. I believe there is a period of like 14 days. I, I said it in another video, I don't have the exact dates off the top of my head, but from when somebody clicks your item and if they don't buy it right away, maybe they pay for it later, then it still counts as a promoted sale for you and it still qualifies as it sold through promoted listings. I did learn, however, and this was something that I was worried about before, is if somebody sends an offer on an item, does it still count as an item sold through promoted listings? And the answer is yes, because all of these sales that you see right here were all sold from offers from a liker. So people saw my listings through promoted listings and they sent an offer and I accepted. And these are the only sales that I've made in the last seven days. This is a new feature that they came out with as well. I don't think this was available last week, so this is pretty new. This is something that we were definitely asking for, for them to include what listings were being sold through promoted listings. So I don't know if you see a a theme here, but people are definitely buying shoes. The one thing that I will say, and I have no idea if this is actually correlated to promoted closets or if this is just the time of the year, you know, it's summertime, so a lot of sellers experience summer slowdown. I'm definitely experiencing it, but May was one of my best months that I've had this year so far. And then once it hit June, it just completely died. I don't know if it's because I was part of the beta program, so Poshmark was favoring my closet, and even items that weren't being promoted were selling. Like, unfortunately, when I started the beta program, we didn't have this feature here where it was showing what items were selling. It was only showing us the sold amount. So I don't have that data to be able to tell you guys that yes, I was only making sales through promoted listings. It didn't seem like it because if you go over to your overview, and I'll show you here. Um, you can actually see like I had this many clicks and this many sales. And if I go to year to date, just because it's the only way that I can really go in. These first couple of days, I had clicks, but I didn't have sales. It took me a few days to actually make sales through promoted listings, but I was still making sales in my closet regardless and i was noticing that even though i wasn't making the same amount of sales through promoted listings as i was like just in general in my closet there was definitely an uptick in sales usually when poshmark comes out with a new feature and you are using that feature they will push the closets that are trying out anything new this was the same with when live selling came out um and any feature so now one of the newer features that just came out is posh lens i just made a video about how to use that i feel like if you are using posh lens to look up comps or to look up items i don't know maybe that will help your closet as well it's really hard to tell because just poshmark really lacks 
analytics, the analytics that we need, like impressions. But I'm hoping that they do come up with that soon. That isn't a point that I brought up when I was speaking to Team Posh. I said that it's all good and dandy if they're gonna show us how many impressions our promoted listings make, but it doesn't really make sense if they're not telling us how many impressions our regular listings make. Like, how many times is somebody seeing my closet if it's promoted versus if I just share it a crap ton of times versus if I just list it and it's shared to a party or whatever. Another thing I wanna show is just in the last 30 days, if you can see this right here, this period of time, this was the last week that I was in the promoted listings. Absolutely no sales due to promoted listings. So this is another thing that I brought up to Team Posh, but I was like, maybe it was just the novelty of me joining this program. And since I wasn't like a brand new person in this thing anymore, Poshmark wasn't favoring my items. Maybe it's because I wasn't listing as much as I had been. There are so many factors that go into it and it's just, it's hard because I really didn't know if it was gonna be worth it for me to continue actually paying my own money because of this week right here where there was nothing. But I guess that's, it goes to show that it you can go in and change things, you can go in and you know change your budget. Another really strong point, these are the only sales that I've made in the last seven days. I haven't made any other sales, it's only been through promoted listings. I have been adding new items to my closet, I've also been relisting. I have Posher VA, which is a bot, and it shares my closet for me. It also sends out offers to likers whenever somebody likes something. So those are things that have still been active and still been happening in my closet, but unfortunately, the only sales that I've been experiencing have been through promoted listings. I don't know if this is like a tactic that Poshmark has to make me want to pay for promoted listings, because obviously, like if it was just up to this, I would say, of course, I have to pay for promoted listings because the only items that are selling are through promoted listings. But if I add this up, um, let's see, 30 plus 30 plus 60, that is 120. So this is about $170 in sales. And I had to pay $15. This is just sales, by the way. This is not in like taking out Poshmark fees. This is like just gross sales. Um, so after I take Poshmark fees out of that, and then I take out the $15 from the promoted listings, my profit definitely decreases. And then this is personally for me, as you guys know, I own a consignment store. I sell a lot of the items that I get from consignment on Poshmark. These three pairs of boot of shoes were all consignment items. So that's another fee that I have to take out. And this is personal. If you don't do consignment, then that's not something that you have to worry about. But definitely pay attention to what kind of fees you are incurring on top of the promoted listings. So this is just kind of the back end of it. This was, like I said earlier, this is a new f a new page that they added. So this, it's nice to be able to see what's actually selling. Cause now I know like, okay, I'm gonna go and list boots. Even though it's summer, people are buying boots. So I'm gonna go and see what I have in my store and list that. So this can definitely be beneficial um, but if I go here, I'm just gonna show you guys kind of like the back end again uh, If you guys do get granted access to this or if you guys are just curious to see how it is You get billed weekly you can see here at all times how much you have spent in that week So my budget is $15. I have already spent $10 and 69 cents and there are two days left of my billing period um, you can you have to pay with a credit card or with a debit card, you can't pay from your earnings or anything. So you do have to have a card on file in order to pay for promoted closets. And then you can go here to manage promotion and it's going to show you how much you can do. So if I go down, I can. I can decrease down to $5 a week or I can upgrade to $30 a week. That's the max that it's gonna let me. Um, and it's recommending for me, for my closet size, to stay at $15 per week. So I'm gonna stay there. It says tip, increase your budget to see better results. Obviously you pay more, people are going to see your items more. Maybe, I don't know. And then you can always stop your promotion here. Um, okay, so a couple things. I'm gonna go here to frequently asked questions. I mentioned this also to Team Posh, but when you have promoted closets on, on your store, you, don't get to pick and choose which items get promoted. 
your whole closet if it is marked available for sale is going to be part of the promoted closet so if you have items that you don't want to be promoted unfortunately at the moment there isn't really a way to say what is getting promoted or not and I talked to Team Posh about this I was like hey you know like this is an issue because some people have really low ticket items in their closet whether they're doing like sales like a 5 for 25 sale or something and so they mark the items really low if you have to pay to promote that that cuts into your profit even more and it just makes it not worth it in my case I have consignment items maybe there are some consignment pieces that I don't want to incur extra fees on so I don't want to promote them when it comes down to it if I go back here to overview for example I'm paying $15 a week and I only made how many sales did I make? Like five, four sales. I paid an extra $3.75 for each one of these sales to be made. So is that worth it? I don't know. Like my, my sale prices aren't like super high, but they're not crazy low. I try to avoid listing anything under $20 because it's just like not worth it for me at all. But like adding, knowing that this $3.75 fee is on top of the 20% fee and on top of everything else, it just depends on you. It depends on what you're willing to, to work with. I wanted to keep trying out promoted listings after the beta just to see if there would be a change in how Poshmark was viewing my business. And I know when I say Poshmark in this case, I'm meaning the algorithm. I know that it's not like actual people sitting behind a computer like pushing certain closets ahead of one another. I know that it's all like algorithm, but it, I just think it's important to kind of mess around with it and see which is going to work better. Even though my clicks only cost about two cents each, it cost me about three dollars and seventy five cents for one of those items to sell. So I'm back here on the frequently asked questions. One of them says how much do clicks, clicks cost and it says the actual cost for each click varies based on factors like how many shoppers are searching for your item and the weekly budget you have remaining. So if you only have like five dollars left, I think that Poshmark is going to be a little bit more picky about who it shows your items to. Maybe it won't blast it to everybody that's searching for that item. It's only going to send it to certain people. That's another thing I asked about. I still don't see promoted listings when I'm searching on Poshmark. So this feature isn't even available to everybody yet. I don't know how many people it's available to. So that is definitely also affecting like why my, why is, if it's worth it or not, because not the whole, the whole population that's on Poshmark searching for things isn't necessarily seeing my listings as promoted listings so that they're not showing up. They might still be showing up in their search but they're not showing up as like the first item or the first couple pieces on the top. Let me know down below if you guys are seeing promoted listings. I'm not seeing them in my closet yet. I'm still looking but um, yeah I don't see it. I didn't get a chance to ask Team Posh about this because it hadn't been released yet when I had talked to them but I wonder if these promoted listings are also showing up under Posh Lens. I don't know how it would work because there's not really any words involved in it, but maybe if somebody is showing something, again, I can't tell because I don't have promoted listings. So maybe if somebody else has it, let me know. Um, if you use Posh Lens and you search something, do you get promoted listings? Are those showing up on your feed? Because that's another thing that I'm just like not really sure of. With promoted listings, it's really important to beef up your titles and to really have like searchable words, keywords in them. Keywords are so important. And it's, it's so crazy to me how many resellers don't know keywords, like don't know style words and don't know style tags or don't know where to find them because that's such an important part of having listings that will sell, creating that title and creating that description that's going to allow Poshmark's algorithm to pick out those words so that you can really get your items sold. So anyway, it's it's just kind of, it's a whole thing, right? Like I know that Poshmark is still figuring this out. They obviously need people to test it on. Um, it was all good and dandy in the beginning. I was making great sales, as you can see here from my listings it was it wasn't bad like if you look i'll just this is the 30 days so every time that there is a a blue mark like this i was making a sale but if there's no mark that means i didn't make a sale that day and there are quite a few right in here that i didn't make sales on i am still going to test it out i'm still going to keep doing it i might play around too with the budget 
and see how that affects my sales but just considering the fact that the only sales that I made were from promoted listings it's it's making me want to keep it going but I don't know I could go both ways I could like advocate for it I could advocate against it but again like the things that I'm experiencing with Poshmark promoted closet is it might not be the same for you you might have like crazy good sales the whole time you may need a less lesser budget you may need a bigger budget it's so specific to each person and this also is going to prove whether or not you have items in your closet that people are actually searching for if you have a budget and say your budget isn't being fully maximized that might mean that your items aren't things that people are searching for so it might make you go back and reflect on what you're actually selling and kind of redevise a plan to see if that's if it's worth it to pick up those items anyway that is pretty much my whole overview of promoted closets and my experience so far I hope that I answered some of your guys' questions. If you have any more, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I will get back to you as best I can. If I see any other significant changes, then I will definitely keep you guys updated and make more videos about it. But just let me know if there's like something specific you guys want to know about Promoted Closets specifically. <laughs> I also kind of like put it in their ear that this would be a good topic to have somebody talk about at Poshfest. Um, I don't know if you guys are going. I'm definitely going because it's in San Diego. I'm considering applying to speak, but I am not sure what exactly I would speak on this year. In the past, I've spoken about social media, um, marketing your closet on social media, and also um, Masters of Negotiation. That was my first Posh Fest that I spoke at in 2019. I spoke on a panel about all about sending offers, making offers, and using the tools that Poshmark has to increase sales so i don't know team posh if you want me to talk about promoted closets and what my experience has been um i'm your girl i can help you out <laughs> but anyway that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys later for another one bye Thank you.